Do you struggle with creating test data to test your application? So stop creating it and start generating it. Hello friends, I am Juhi from HCL One Test Data Team and I am here to share with you the solution provided by HCL, that is HCL One Test Data. HCL One Test Data is a simple data fabrication tool that can generate mock data for you to test any of your applications. It is very simple and you can customize it as per your application's requirement. It generates real-time data automatically. It maintains data privacy. It reduces your time as you need not have to create test data manually. And it improves the quality of your application as you can test your application frequently. Now, how to use HCL1 test data? For this, you need to access HCL One Test Server application. Being a first time user, you need to create your credentials by registering to the application using sign up button. Enter your details and click submit. This will take you to HCL One Test Server dashboard. You need to create a new project. Once you create your project, you have to click licensing. So as you can enable one test data fabrication, click enable. It shows that data fabrication is enabled for you. Click data fabrication from the left navigation panel. It will open data fabrication dashboard. Here you can see three tabs, workspace, jobs, API history. So workspace is the main page where you can perform and organize all data fabrication related activities. Using Jobs tab, you can see the list of all the test data generated jobs and their status. Under API history, you can see the API endpoints used to execute each test data generation jobs. Quick links are a collection of links that are frequently used. On the right side, you can manage your account clicking on the context menu. You can select hide or show options for archive projects. At the bottom of the dashboard, you can see three tabs as files, connections, and schemas. These are the three components of data design environment for one test data. Using files tab, you can import any of the sample files if you have in your local machine. Connections tab is used to establish any connection with an external resource. And schemas is the data dictionary. Here you need to create the data and the structure which will help you to generate test data. Once you click on schemas tab, you can either create a new schema or you can import an existing schema. If you have created a schema, click schemas tab, select the schema which you have created. This is the schema name. Under schemas, you have three types, category, group, and item type. By clicking on each of the type, you can set the properties. It opens the properties dialog box. Once you set the properties, you need to create the structure for the group type. Click the menu, click structure, drag the item type for which you want to create the structure. Click Save. Now to generate the test data, click the menu of the group type and click Generate Data. Enter the number of records you want to generate, say 10. Enter the seed value, this is a reference value, so as the same group of data to be generated each time when you are mentioning the same seed value. Select the output file format. And click OK. Here you can see the notification that the job has been successfully created. You can go to Jobs tab and view the result. To download the generated file, here you can see for countries it has randomly created the data. It has created 10 records. 
If you want to see the API history, click on API history. You can see the list of APIs being used to generate this test data generation job. So here we have seen in brief how we can use one test data to generate the test data. Thank you.